Hey guys, it's Grace. Today I'll be explaining exactly how you can go paperless with only three items. Digital note taking is getting more and more popular and I've been taking notes with my iPad for quite some time now, so I thought it would be perfect for me to explain exactly what you need and how I do it. The first thing you'll need is a tablet or something to write all your notes on and keep all your notes. This is my iPad. I have the iPad 11 Pro in space gray. It's 64 gigabytes and it's perfect for note taking. On my iPad, I have the Apple Slim Folio case. It essentially works to protect the exterior of my iPad and if I ever drop it, it won't get scratched. For the screen of the iPad, I have a screen protector. It is a matte screen protector from Mothka, I believe. Basically, it makes your writing feel a little smoother and it prevents glare on the screen. And it also reduces fingerprint smudges, which is really, really important for a good screen protector. I know that the iPad Pro can be quite expensive and I want to tell you guys that you definitely do not need an iPad Pro to take notes. Um, there are some more affordable iPads out there and as well as some other tablets that you can consider. The iPad 6, which is the more budget-friendly iPad, runs about as low as $300 nowadays, which is not the cheapest thing in the world, but if you're looking for a more budget-friendly version, that might be better for you. I definitely think an iPad is the best way to go when getting a writing tablet because the iPad just works the best with the Apple Pencil. Those are the iPad lines that I recommend. I recommend the iPad 6, or the iPad 7 or anything above the iPad 6 in that regular iPad line and I recommend the iPad Airs and the iPad Pros. All of those support the Apple Pencil which is the most important thing for digital note taking. My friend Emmy also has an amazing article about why an iPad is a really good investment for school and college so I will link her article down below if you want to read it. It's really compelling and it explains all the reasons why you should get an iPad for digital note taking. The second thing that you guys will need to take notes is a writing utensil that works with your tablet. Some iPads are compatible with the Apple Pencil, the first generation, and some iPads are compatible with the second generation Apple Pencil. And there are some other tablets that are compatible with other writing utensils, such as the Logitech Crayon and as well as the Surface Pen 2. I've never tried the other ones, but most reviewers say that the Apple Pencil works the best, but again, it's up to you and what you have. So here I have the Apple Pencil 2, second generation, and it works perfectly with my iPad and it is key to taking good notes and fast. On my Apple Pencil, I have a sleeve and I got it from Amazon. It works really well to give you a little bit more grip on the pencil when you're writing because the Apple Pencil tends to slip if your hands are slippery because it doesn't have a grip like some other mechanical pencils do. So I find that this is really helpful when um, taking notes for a long time. The last thing you'll need is a note taking app. And there are so many different options on the App Store, but my all-time favorite is Notability. I will be explaining what I think of each one. My favorite note-taking app is Notability 100%, but there are some other options if you're looking for um, a free version or just like a different style of note-taking app. So Notability and GoodNotes are very similar. They're both around $10. And once you buy one of those, you don't, Unless you really, really favor the other one, you don't really need to buy another one because these are the best note-taking apps on the market right now. However, if you're looking for um, more of a cheaper version, OneNote and Apple Notes will be good for you because they are both free. So Apple Notes is Apple's built-in notes app and you might not have known, but you can actually um, use your Apple Pencil to take notes on it. and. I've noticed that it's not pressure sensitive at all, but you can take notes with it. It just has very limited capabilities, but still works as a note taking app overall. OneNote has a lot more capabilities than the Apple Notes app. So I think that this is a better choice, but it still has a lot of issues such as the pen is not as sensitive as it is in Notability and GoodNotes and the writing experience just feels a lot different and 
the app does not feel as polished. Lastly, moving on to GoodNotes and Notability. I used to use both GoodNotes and Notability, but recently I've switched to Notability because I feel like it is overall just a more sleek, polished, and fast app. Nothing wrong with using GoodNotes, however, I do think Notability is better for me. Notability has more of a folder-like navigation system with um, drop-down menus to organize your different files, and it has a very smooth and simplistic approach, while GoodNotes, on the other hand, has a sort of a finder navigation system where you have to navigate through many pages to get to the note you want, but a lot of people like GoodNotes because of its wide range of options and colors and you have more creative control in GoodNotes. A lot of people think that getting into digital note taking is really, really hard and they don't know what to buy, what where to start, and I hope that this video gives you an idea of how easy it is to get into digital note taking and exactly what you need to do so. Bye guys! Thanks for watching!